Wait, is this... Is this episode 50? Oh, no, we did 49. Yeah, you're right. Episode 50. Okay. Welcome back to episode 50 of... Episode 50. A People's Guide to Publishing, the podcast. I can't even believe it. Nobody can believe it. We were predicted to fail by episode two, and yet here we are. Who predicted that? I, I you know, the internet. Uh, I am your host, Joe Beal, the autistic publisher. And the author of A People's Guide to Publishing, and the founder and CEO of Microcosm. And I'm Ellie Blue. I'm the marketing and editorial director of Microcosm, and I'm just here to, you know, hang out. LaCroix, this would be a great time to offer to sponsor our podcast. Trader Joe's Green Tea, also. We certainly consume enough of your products. Thank you. So today, uh, episode 50, we're going to be talking about something new and cool in the publishing world, a new cool technology in the publishing world. And that's what's interesting about it, because not everyone thinks it's new or cool. Every few months, there's like a new cool technology in the publishing world, and half the time it's just ebooks um, mm-hmm. rehashed, or like print on demand rehashed, but this time it actually is new and cool. The um, question this week is, what do you think about bookshop.org? I personally am excited about it. Everyone's excited about it, except for people that feel like they have to have an opinion on the internet. Those people have tried to find reasons not to be excited about it. So Mm -hmm. bookshop.org is a new software startup that is basically an affiliate program for purchasing books on the internet. So when you buy a book, go to bookshop.org through a link that we sent to you that had a little widget at the end for Microcosm Publishing, then I think 10% of your purchase would go to Microcosm, and then another 10% of your purchase would be distributed among independent bookstore partners of Bookshop. And so uh, this is maybe sounds a little familiar to you that it is because it is created specifically to compete with, with another the, giant online book. Yeah, company. we can't remember what that company is called, uh, but like yeah. some I, people, I don't know, I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. There's another big online book retailer I, where I, you can. Is like, there though? I don't know. I've never heard of one. They do. They have an affiliate program, and lots of people use the links, and they get like five percent or something of the sale. I just so don't think there's better, any other online book retailer. I think you're right. Bookshop.org is it's an probably a product. Probably the only one. The first I think, I mean, there's like the other companies that like sell refrigerators and like actively move books out of their warehouses, but I don't actually know of anybody that actively is an online book retailer. My God, you're right. Okay, well, bookshop.org is a book retailer, which is, a, mm. if anything, the best reason that they deserve your money. They are fulfilled by another large book company that we're not, like, totally best friends with, but, you know, whatever. you got to pick your evils in this world. <laughs> it is an odd moment where one monopoly becomes your uneasy partnership. But, you know, we're all about mixing it up, giving people options. So if you happen to run a blog or you ever do anything where you do affiliate links to recommend books to people and you want to get a little kickback, we recommend bookshop.org. Check it out. Help this cool new service get off the ground and create a little competition in the marketplace that's my ad for you bookshop.org you can Mm -hmm. kick me back 10 percent now (laughs) and so the interesting thing about bookshop is that you know immediately people believed in this whole idea of scarcity economics where they were like well there's only so many people that buy books there's only so few book sales and if there's an online place to buy books then there's no way, like, they're just going to cannibalize the actual independent bookstores, these sales, but as we might not have repeated frequently enough on every episode of this program, independent bookstores are the, I believe, fastest growing market segment of sales and publishing. And Should really, we say that again? I feel like people can rewind it if they want to hear it again. Okay. You can just hit that little back button. Yeah, but when you get to the end of your cassette, just hit the rewind button all the way and play the tape again. How old are we? <laughs> I'm like six. <laughs> yeah, in like the 80s. Uh, anyway, Joe's feeling a little youthful because of his new hairstyle, I think. I always feel a lot youthful. <laughs> so yeah, such as there is any controversy around Bookshop, I really have only seen some grumbling about people who are concerned that it might um, cannibalize their independent bookstore brick and mortar sales but you know if someone's gonna buy a book online they're gonna buy it online 
And, and, you know, and the bottom line is that you know, if the publishing industry hadn't been so adverse to marketing in the first place, there wouldn't be this idea that there is a scarcity economy. You know, it's like w things really work best when you look and see the vibrancy and you aren't expressing all of your fears all the time. You're expressing your ambitions and how you would like things to go and, you know, you're sort of fostering that. And, and not even in, like, a peacenik kind of way, but more in a, like, you do reap what you sow. That's you know? true. And if you, like, keep the goal in mind that, like, you know, you want more books to connect with more readers, that helps everybody. Mm -hmm. Helps you, too. So this has been episode 50 of A People's Guide to Publishing, our first oddly close to an advertisement episode. I am your host, Joe Beal, the autistic publisher, author of People's Guide to Publishing, and founder and CEO of Microcosm. I'm Ellie Blue. I'm the marketing director for Bookshop. I mean, Microcosm. Cool. Just kidding. I'm not affiliated with Bookshop in any way. <laughs> but we did. He, um, we did do a solid, though, Bookshop. The founder did sit at our lunch table at Winter Institute and looked kind of cowed the whole time. It was kind of awkward. Yeah, I, I think felt... he was getting a lot more crap than he expected. Yeah, and now I felt bad because I... I just, you know, thought it was so cool. Booksellers, don't bite the hand that's trying to feed you. And I still think it's cool. I think it's cool, too. I think you're cool. Thanks for watching. Come back next week, where we talk about something else. Something really nerdy. Thanks for joining us once again. Please send your questions to podcast at microcosmpublishing.com so we can answer them on future episodes. And please give us five stars on iTunes and everywhere else that podcasts are reviewed. You can find us on the internet at microcosm.pub. On Twitter at microcosm. On Facebook at microcosm publishing. On Instagram at microcosm underscore pub. And here in Portland, Oregon on North Williams Avenue. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week.